Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here, and welcome to Fallout New Vegas again. I mean, I've done this playthrough on my channel before, I didn't even finish this playthrough on my channel. Obviously, played through Fallout New Vegas lots of times in my time. Um, obviously, the Fallout show came out recently, so I figured, you know, I'm in a big fallout -y mood. And obviously, Fallout is probably my favorite video game series of all time. Um, so I figured I'd do a playthrough. Why not? You know, I'm just kind of going to kick it here, chilling, playing Fallout New Vegas. I have a build in mind. I have some ideas and thoughts of the way that I want to play through this particular playthrough. Um, and it's, and I, the reason it's Fallout New Vegas is because of the show, to a certain degree. Obviously, we, I could do a you know, playthrough of Fallout 4. There's all the, Fallout 3. All these games are good. Fallout 76 is even apparently in a good position now. Um, definitely think about checking that out. But that's, you know, cooperative with my wife and stuff like that. The reason it's Fallout New Vegas, though, is because... You know, the show takes place on the West Coast, and Fallout New Vegas takes place on the West Coast and deals with a lot of the similar type of stuff, rather than like, you know, your East Coast games of Fallout 3, 4, and even to an extent 76. So, we're going to be playing a full playthrough here, hopefully. Um, not all in one video, right? One video at a time as we go here. We are playing the Xbox 360 version of the game on the Xbox Series X. Um... Vanilla it's completely the most stable vanilla version of the game that you could possibly get um, 60 frames per second with the FPS boost, but it's still 720p, you know is what it is uh, I rather take that than every time I try to pl play the PC version if you don't mod that thing It just crashes way more often than this version does. I just want to play it I don't really care too much about what it visually looked like, you know, and we're gonna play through and we'll see how things go as we go We're gonna start a new game here Auto save is present. Yeah, that's fine um, we're going to skip the opening cutscene, though, because that will get me copyright claimed, unfortunate, you know. Mercenary pack, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we're going to, you know, go through it not super quickly by any means or anything like that. We're not going to, like, rush through things, but certain dialogue we're going to skip. I'll talk about things. Yes, hello, Doc Mitchell. Is your head going to be spinning today? I've seen that bug before. You ever seen that bug where his head's just, you know, he's good. He's good. He's alive. Yeah, yeah, I got shot in the head. Ain't that a kick in the head? I wish we could watch the opening cutscene because it is really, really good and it really does set the tone of the video game, right? Um, but copyright. YouTube's a bitch like that. Uh, my character's name is going to be Wendy, which is my wife's name. Uh, I would like lowercase again. This fucking, look at this classic ass Xbox 360 keyboard. It's been a long time. Who says you get to pick my name at all, Doc Mitch? I hate that line. It's not what I would have picked for you. What do you get? Who says you have the right to pick my name? <laughs> what is he gonna do? Like fix it? He's like, oh yeah, dude. Uh, I, you know, I'm pretty good about fixing the holes in your head. Uh, we're gonna be playing a female character, um, Wendy, obviously. Caucasian preset. Um, preset one is not that far off of what I wanted it to look like. I mean, I, you I've, did you use anybody ever mess with these old school ones? Like, I know in Fallout 4 and even Fallout 76 and stuff, the character creator got a lot better. You could do a lot more things with it and stuff. But even then, I don't really mess with it too much. I, like, pick a hairstyle that I want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, I guess you could choose, like, eyeliner. Is this even... I've never even really gone into these options. I don't really mess with this that much. Is it, like, more eyeliner? Is this, is this a slider? I don't even know, right? Like, this is how little... I mean, I know some of you, some of you, some of you really about it, right? Like, very much, like, mess with these things too much. Okay, what is the age slider doing? I don't ever mess with any of that either. Like, I really don't. I check, I choose a hairstyle, Wendy the Weather hairstyle. It's obviously... My character's name is Wendy. If we don't use the Wendy the Weather... Wendy the Welder hairstyle, um, we're kind of doing it wrong. Um, I'm trying to find the color... Vaguely of my wife's hair. It's really tough though. She got like some parts of it are blonde and some parts of it are, are like browner. Like it's weird, you know. So it's not like they have the, this. This Xbox 360 graphics ain't really holding in it. Um, Suede's probably the closest one though. We'll go with that. And that's that's good. Yes, that's that's my character. It doesn't really matter that much. I am on my feet, but it is quite blurry. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get my stats. Thanks, Doc Mitchell. It is not a race. Oh, look, I'm it's, I'm raced. I I won, I won the race. I won, I won the race. All right. I do have my faculties. Thank you. 
So I have I have a plan. I already planned this out. Look at me go with the plan. We are going to take five strengths. Uh, it's, it's a it's a balance of you know using a certain. I mean I don't I could go down to three because I'm not I'm not using melee weapons. The, but the inventory weight and stuff it does matter. We'll think about it. We're, we're going to come back to strength. Um, perception of five is good. Uh, there's some certain perception of skills we're going to need, right? Like perception of a certain thing that you know skill requirements work that way in this game. We're going to eventually need six. Um, but we'll use the implant for that. And because we're talking about implants, we're going to get our endurance here up to seven. Because you just need a certain amount of endurance to take a certain amount of implants. Having a high endurance is beneficial. That's the main, that's like the main benefit, obviously. You get health, like all that kind of stuff, right? Like resistance is apparent. I don't know if that's actually true. Um, charisma, obviously, we take down to one. Sucks New Vegas that you designed this way, um, where charisma doesn't really matter that much. We're not even really planning on taking companions. I'm not a big companion person in Fallout games or Bethesda or really anything. Um, right, like companions are fine. That's fine. Um, but obviously, charisma is a stat that goes down to one. If you don't know why, it's just because you could just take the stats. It doesn't really do that. It's the stat that does the least. We might take intelligence of seven. Or nine. Really, obviously nine is the way to usually go because you get the most skill points off rip, which is probably the way I want to do things. And I'll keep that strength lower. We'll see how things go here. So with the small points that we have left, agility of seven, um, the action point regeneration, the sneak, the speed, general movement speed, but also some skills here that we're going to need later on. Um, sneaking is a big deal in, in these fall, old Fallen games, three and New Vegas. Um, and luck, we're going to put up to eight crits. Crits, well, obviously, okay, so there's a couple things with luck. So, with a luck stat of 8-ish, you can go a little higher. Obviously, we're going to get a little higher, like I talked about. We took that endurance stat for a reason, so we can get the implant later. That'll put us up to 9. Um, but luck is really important because you got to win in those casinos. That's a way, good way to make a bunch of money. So, I guess we could look at the end here. We don't have to do all this stuff. But, like, so this is my character build right now, as it stands. A little bit less strength because I'm not going to be using super heavy weapons. And, if I, and, and we're going to take even... Uh, what is it called? Weapon handling later. Um, to get that to where if we want to use big weapons, right? We could do that. Um, I have I have it all planned out. I have perks. I have all the things planned out at all the different levels and stuff. This is the build. Um, we're gonna be doing energy weapons, which is an interesting build. I don't really too often do. Yes, frontal low damage is what you hear every time because charisma sucks, dude. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, jump, press Y. Look at the tutorials. Yeah. My dogs are probably still barking. To grab an object. I got it. Tutorial. Uh, I, it doesn't really matter what we say here. I, I mean, I always find that this interesting, and then you can pick different things, right? Like, I'm going to kick the dog or dinner train. Right? It's cat. Uh, and an investment. Now, why is night treasure? I'm trying to think about like like even like a silence. <laughs> Not that I'm using a silence at all. Uh, a bandit is uh, crush. Beam. Uh, human shield is such a dark thing to say for mom. Um, caretaker, sure. And we just, I mean, I'm really just going to, conflict isn't in my nature. Uh, strongly disagree. Uh, strongly disagree. I wonder if you just uh, strongly disagree to everything. I, it doesn't really matter because obviously this is just the way, the game's way of kind of giving you, um, you know, a basis of skills based off of these things. But I've never really figured out what that meant or anything like that. Now, as much as I said we're taking energy weapons, we are taking energy weapons. We're not taking them. That's interesting that it picked that. Um, we are taking science. We're not going to take guns, and we're not going to take energy weapons. We're going to take science, repair, and speech. Um, speech, we have to take because just because it starts so fucking low, because that low charisma, that's the only negative to taking that one charisma. Science and repair are going to become way more important as we go on. Um, as you see here, science literally, it's, it can also be used to recycle energy weapon ammunition workbenches, so that's a big part of the thing, because as much as... I haven't really done an energy weapon build in this game before. I eventually use energy weapons, but that's like later on in the game when you're just like, oh yeah, this is got like you know things are abundant. Um, but if we're gonna try to do this off rip, we're gonna need to recycle some energy ammunition. So that's what we're gonna use that for. Repair skill also because very quickly we're going to need the jury rigging perk um, just to be able to keep our energy weapons kind of going. Um, but also repair just because we're just gonna need it in general pretty quick.
So we'll take that for now. This is this is my build. This is my tag stats. And then our yeah, yeah. Anything else? Yeah, anything else. So traits. I love traits. I love traits as a concept. I wish every Fallout game had traits. Um obviously we could take Wild Wasteland, that is a cool trait. Um I'll think about it. I know I want to take skilled. Now, I don't know if about y'all, but I always take skill. It's it's just very good, right? Now, you could always be like, oh, the minus 10% experience points is going to take you way longer to level up. I can, there's no, for one thing, I have never, I can easily reach max rank and follow New Vegas. There's still enough content in this game. There's enough quests to do, enemies to kill, stuff, especially with the, when you play all the DC, DLC. I don't even know I'm going to play the DLC. Well, we'll think about that. You guys let me know what you think of that. But we're taking skill because it's, it's just good. We don't need to necessarily level up fast. Who cares? That doesn't. It doesn't matter super hard, and it matters more to get those plus five to everything right off rip. Now, there is an argument to be made that we take um, built to destroy up here. Now, that's that's a tough one for me because energy weapons already kind of burn faster. And I thought about that. I thought about that a lot, right? Like because of the plus three percent chance to critically hit. I don't think that's that important necessarily it is it's gonna help but the decay 50 percent faster is probably a little bit tough for me right now we could do the the, the four rise it's a classic perk you just get plus one perception essentially for free we already have a high enough perception anyway um there's, there's all i mean I, lo I love all of these different things don't ever take Logan's loophole that would be such a shitty <laughs> it's such a shitty thing to do um trigger discipline could be good right like we don't have to shoot that quick with laser weapons generally um, and then the more accuracy is really good, right? It's actually something worth taking. Obviously, Wild Wasteland is kind of its own thing. Wild Wasteland might be good because we could get certain particular things, I think, because of that. Um, I'm going to take Trigger Discipline, though, because I don't ever take Trigger Discipline. I can't think of a time I did, so I'm going to do it now. Thanks, Doc Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, but if you could just talk to him right away, a little trick. He just gives you the stuff, and then you don't have to wait for him to walk to the door. He gives you a pit boy. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate you. Uh, no, I'm not playing hardcore. Look, and now the sun exists because the game actually has rendered it in time because you have a pit boy. Until you have a pit boy, time doesn't exist in the game. We obviously come out with all the DLC, all the starting stuff, right? We don't even need any of this, really. Um, we don't need default 21 jumpsuit. Usually the armor jumpsuit is the way to go, right? Or technically the lightweight leather armor is a good one, too. There we are. There's our character. Here we go. Now, time to loot his entire house. There's some radix. This is all random, right? Isn't it? Generally is. I don't think this is guaranteed stuff. There's some generation in here. Um, I don't know what I just took there. It sounded like a knife. <laughs> this is a knife. Um, Doc Mitchell, I'm ready. I'm ransacking your house, okay? There's our laser pistol. That's something. That's a good way to start. If we're using only energy weapons, we need that off rip. Stim packs and radax. Our science skill should be definitely high enough. We're going to create stim packs, though. The drugs are not that useful. We can repair the 9mm submachine gun there. If you do take the glasses thing, I mean, there's a today's position. There's reading glasses right here on the table. So you could have the glasses and you have the plus one perception off rip if you take the four eyes perk. Just looking for anything else valuable. If the, if the, I've, I've been thinking, like, I've been playing Fallout 4 a lot. I've been playing Fallout 4 a lot for mods and stuff, but you always just take all the scrap of everything. And this is not so much the case here in this particular game. I know there's like some crafting systems, this is kind of a default thing. We're going to leave the door. We're going to get blasted by fucking sunlight. And I'll follow 3 style. Follow 4 style too, like coming out of the vault. Obviously, it makes a little less sense here. Old our Blues is installed. Honest Hearts, Lonesome Road. And then we'll let that all load in a little bit. Hello, Good Spring Gunrunner's Arsenal. Thank you for loading that in. Empty mailbox. The Midnight Science Fiction feature. Victor. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks for digging me out of that grave, though, homie. Um, do you know who those men who were attacked me? Does Victor know, actually, though? Like, this, this is an interesting theory. I mean, I'm going to talk about spoilers kind of along as we go here. So, like, if this is your first time watching Fallen New Vegas, this might not be the best playthrough for, play for you to watch. I didn't even... So, 
Let's get that laser pistol equipped. This I have 31 laser pistol rounds. It's not gonna be necessarily an easy time if I just want to use that. Um, dead money. Oh man, dead money. Um, shit. We're gonna go to the general store right away here. Though. We're we're gonna try to get through the entire Good Springs quest, but there's like other aspects I want to do first. But here, Chet, hello. Yeah, yeah, you got stuff for sale. I want to buy your stuff. Do you have the laser pistol, the GRA laser pistol? But the plasma pistol is really what we want here. We obviously have no fucking money at all. Now, the recharger rifle is also kind of an interesting idea if we're doing, you know, that energy build. We could sell some of this shit, though. We don't need this 9mm here. Uh, we don't need the caravan shotgun or the weathered pistol or the 10mm pistol. Not using it. Um, so we could buy the plasma pistol and we'll buy the recharger rifle, I think. Um, we probably need some plasma ammunition, right? Like, I like I said, never really done. It's no, it still uses energy. So I forgot that that use, they both use energy cells. What an interesting thing. Do you have any energy cells, Chet? I guess it's down here at E. Which is that's you probably go to ammo. Thirty-one energy cells. I'll take all of and then the overcharged ones, sure. Because we're gonna need all the ammo we can get, and we're gonna need to recycle it. It's a, it's one of those things. Um. We don't want the lightweight metal armor. We could technically sell that too. Um, or the tribal raiding armor. Um, we're going to keep the Vault 21 jumpsuit. Because you imagine we keep that all the way until we get to the Vegas Strip. There's like reasons for that, right? Like, um, But we don't need the armored one. It's just the same damage threshold as this lightweight leather armor. But it does look cool, but it weighs 5 pounds more. There's no reason to really keep that, I think. Um, we got a couple bobby pins already. We're going to, you know, do the things. We made a big chunk of money right there. Thanks, Chet. No, yeah, you know, you definitely hooked me up with what I wanted. Um, we have other weapons and stuff here too. Why don't we get to sell the nine millimeter pistol or the machete? I don't understand. Um, but we got a plasma pistol here. This is kind of our go-to starting weapon. This is my plan. I planned this all out. God damn that SSD man. Solid state drive loading times. Um, but yeah, plasma pistol. It's kind of our go-to starter weapon. But we do have this um recharger rifle here because it recharges. If we really need some ammunition, um, this thing. If you don't know charges up on its own. Maybe you don't even have a use a recharger rifle before, but this thing technically has infinite ammo, which is going to be very important for us early on here in the game uh, when we're real low on energy stuff. Now, obviously, we're supposed to go talk to Sunny. We're going to do so. We'll do the tutorial, all the things. That's important. Hello, Easy Pete. How's it going? Doing some cowboy things today? Hope so. Hello, Sunny. Yes. Hello. Doc Mitchell says you could teach me to survive. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. I'm real lost here, man. I was a courier, but I have no fucking clue about anything. Okay. I'll meet you outside. But we got some things to do here. Obviously, there's this conflict. Or the conflict. Is the conflict not going on yet? Conflict's not going on. Can we repair the radio already? No, we can't. We gotta do the tutorial first. I'll, I'll meet you outside in a second, Sunny. I have some things to do in here. Now, the floor safe here is hard. But this terminal is easy. We are currently hidden. We're going to lose some karma. Trust me. We're going to get... This game is really easy to get karma. Now, the worst the worst thing about any Fallout game is this fucking god dang hacking puzzle right here. I'm going to try to get through it and try to do it in a way that... <laughs> because I hate that. Okay? One. One. Um, it could be... Imagine. Right? So, two. That's great. This is... We're, we're making great progress. Um... Adventure. I hate this. I hate looking at letters too much like this. Uh, meaning. That's three. Any ings are going to be three, so that eliminates all those. Persona. Pass. Massive. It's not passive. It's massive. Um, it has the I and the E. Technically, it could be. Hey! 27 experience points, which would normally be 30. Like, if you think about it, the skilled perk is not really robbing us of that much, I pinky promise. But we can disengage a lock in the safe. Which allows us to loot this. We'll take some of these things. We'll take this for right now. The Nuka Cola, Jet Psychos, just all the things. We could just sell this stuff later. We'll take the dirty water too, just in case we need it for heals. Um, Sunset Sarsaparillas. We'll take all five of those. One of the best fucking healing items in the game. Um, on you know any kind of regular difficulty. If you're in hardcore mode, then you're having a bad time. I will take all six of those. Um, is there anything else in here? I do not remember there being. I mean, there's a dirty water right there, but that's. I do not remember else, anything else being significant in that room. There is a magazine here. This fixing things. If we need a temporary repair boost. You just gotta... I mean, like, obviously it's stealing. And, like, I know some people are, like, really fucking weird about this. But they're like, oh, man, dude. You're, like, you're stealing from people that don't deserve to be stolen from. I'm like, dog, it's a video game. I'm just playing it like a video game. That's, like, that's kind of my thing. Like, 
Oh my god, door. Fucking fallout door. Just knocking me ass around. Hello, sir. You doing the things? Yes. Okay, let's go talk to Sunny. She's going to give us a varmint rifle. Oh my goodness. Um... I wonder if, do you have to use the varmint rifle? I don't think I've ever did not used the varmint rifle. I'm trying to like think about things. Can I shoot these bottles with like other things? Or do I have, you want me to use the varmint rifle? Can I switch guns? Yeah, but if I switch guns, would, that, would, that, would you let me do that? <laughs> I mean, it's not very accurate, dog. Does this not work to kill the bottles anyway? The rich... I, I mean, I shot... Did I, are you implying that I hit the bottles? I am not hitting these bottles. What does the retry... Does the retry rifle have more requirements than I think? Strength to five. That's that's maybe part of the deal. The pistols, obviously, were red. Strength to five. We're going to get more of this later. Um, this might be part of the reason why I wanted to keep that a little high, because that's the reason we're big wobbly here. Will it, though? I mean, a little bit? It's still rough. It can't hit these bottles. It, it, she thinks that I am hitting them, though, I think. Nice shot, my ass. I hit zero bots. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to go kill the geckos. I got you. But, like, I think that's very silly that Sonny's like, yeah, you're doing a great job. I just fucking did not hit a single bottle. I mean, I think I aimed at the bottles, to be fair. I just, I just, I think it's hilarious. All right, Sonny. Us and our matching armor. We could go. I'll, I'll, I'll keep up with you. We'll, we'll get, we'll get going. Look, hippity, hoppity. This is how I play, um, really all of old Fallout. Is when I'm just walking around. I play in first person, but when I'm just walking around like this, I do in third person and I jump all the time. Um, because there's no sprinting. Like, obviously, could you imagine if they put sprinting in the like they remastered the games and they added sprinting? Oh my god. Um, it would obviously make it like a whole different video game. Would you have to? You probably have to increase the scale of everything, right? Like, because otherwise you just get across the map too quick. Hippity. Hoppity. Now I can cut some of this stuff off, but I'm, I'm going to try to use these as opportunities to talk about vague thoughts in general. The thing, um, Like, you know, how I feel about New Vegas, what's going on. If I feel like I don't actually have anything to say, meaningful, Sunny, come on, figure your shit out. Then I'll, then I'll you know, cut some stuff out when we're doing, like, long, fast travels. But even then, we don't have really long, fast travels because we have the SSD. Yes, yes, geckos. There's geckos. I, oh, we're supposed to sneak. I remember now. So, yeah, I can see, you know, we go to first person. That's kind of how I play the game. Uh, go give him hell, sure. I'm gonna see how this shit fucking goes. Like, like I said, never really done like a, like an energy weapon build from the rip. Um, now there's a gecko right there. Fried him. I mean, I you, you gotta love that though. I love energy weapons for that. And we didn't even spend him. good enough, right? And then we already have full ammo again. Like this is quite efficient. Now we could take meat and stuff and, and thinking about. Because, like, by, I want to mention this. By natural thing, our survival skill is pretty high. Probably higher than our medicine is even. So, survival is 25. I guess medicine should be right in there. 29 even. So, yeah, it's I guess, like, we, we could definitely eat some meat and stuff. But without it being hardcore mode, we don't have to worry about that. I've already beat hardcore mode before, too. I don't have to do that shit ever again. It's fine. Are you coming, Sunny? Are we supposed to... Are we supposed to talk to her again? I forget exactly. It's been a long time since I've done a whole playthrough of this game. But I ever, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we come, we do more wells. That's what I, you do to talk to her to continualize the tutorial. I already hit the VATS button, but the game doesn't even re register that shit. It's just, a, you know, I do it like once a year. I come through and I do Fallout New Vegas. I mean, I could show you here. I have um, this auto save file, my co character Wendy here. But I have this character Clara, who's level 50. I have myself, Jason. Clara's my daughter, if you don't know. She uses shotguns because it's like the end state back's a great perk. And I always use gun guns instead of using, um, you know, energy weapons. Whatever I'm doing this. And then I have a more melee character there. All right. Different play styles. This game. Um, hello, Gecko. Good job, Sonny. Look at you go. Just kind of spam it there a little bit. There we go. There's the VAT tutorial. We are going to be using VATs quite a bit. Um, just because I find it fun. And it's always cool to melt things. Um, but yeah, this recharger rifle is kind of overpowered. I mean, obviously, it's going to break on us pretty quick, though, which is like, the, like a big problem. Now, we obviously have to hurry up here if we want to save this um, settler here. You don't wait for Sunny at all. We just got to get down here. I'm like midair batting. Please don't die. I mean, it's not like... I will take it. I'm not going to like... 
That's a nice headshot right there. Oh, that didn't quite kill it. Two shots in that one, though. There you go. I'm out of it. AP? Please don't die. Please don't accidentally shoot her, though, either. You got it? She got it? She did it. I helped you. You're good. I think. I did it. It isn't, it's not, it's not mandatory or critical that you save that lady's life. Um, but if you do, you get extra positive, um, reputation. That's the thing. That's a hard word to think of. Yes. Thanks for some caps. Yeah. Give me some survival skills. Why not? Okay. We do the, the whole tutorial because why not? But back in the saddle once again. I've done the hardcore thing. Or was it, is it called hardcore? That's what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called hardcore. All right. Um, but the where you have to eat and drink, and it's fine. <laughs> I've done that. Uh, I'm good. This is my character build. I have thought about that strength requirement a little bit, but I'm not lowering. So we need some um, Xander root here, which is right up here, and then this little plant up here. There's more geckos though. Look at the little baby gecko. Look at him. He's a little baby. I missed. I missed again. Low strength requirement. Uh, please just fucking die. Why aren't you dead? Why why don't you just die? How about that? I keep hitting reload too. I have never really used. I'm aware of what the recharger rifle is and what it does. Hey, we shot all seven shots. It's slowly recharging. Is anybody else? Is the other guy go up there? Hey, if you want to let me re my gun recharge, I appreciate that. But really, all we need is this Brock flower and that Xander root for the, the tutorial quest. Super duper easy. I do like the look of this gun. I really like the look of energy weapons. They, they are really sick. And there's some really cool ones in the game. And like I said, I don't really use them too much. So by fo my, like make, making myself focus on this particular build, I'm going to try new things. Okay. So do you want me to talk to you first? Yeah, yeah. You go to the campfire. You can make a healing powder. Yeah, it's like that. I forget how to make things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Trudy, Nisha needs my help. Yep, talk to Trudy. Is something going on? Sonny, what is your character freaking out over? Okay, everything is fine. I pinky promise everything's okay. Somebody, oh, this is the dude. He's over here already? I didn't realize he was over here. What are you doing? You're running away from me. Hello, sir? 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 Uh, what are you running from? What are you terrified of? Hello? Like, isn't this the guy who's like, go check out that fridge for me, or my friend died, or whatever. And then you, like, loot it, and then he comes and tries to kill you. But he's, like, running away. What are you doing? I mean, obviously, she pick up this as a fast shell point. Gene's skydiving. Barton Thorne. Why did you run all the way over here? Yeah, yeah, no, you can, I will absolutely help you. She's up on the, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, you're welcome. The unmarked quest, we'll just get that going. And, you know, I, I know my way around Fallen New Vegas, and I'm sure y'all know your way around it, too, but... Hopefully. If you don't, you know, maybe you can learn some things. I'm not trying to say that I'm like an expert by any means, but I have, you know, my fair share of hours. I've played it on PC before. I've played it on, you know, this mainly this Xbox 360 version. On the Xbox 360, on the Xbox One, and now on the Xbox Series X. Now, I mean, I don't think it really loads any faster on the Series X due to the SSD. It just loads really fast because it's an old game. Um, but I think visually it still holds up. I know it's 720p and some of y'all are going to be like, that, it's not, it's not, it's not 4K. And he's like, it's fine, dog. Resolution isn't everything. Uh, but yeah, we go up here. More gecko. The same place we were just were, but all the way up the hill, I believe. This young gecko, we almost killed that. <laughs> the strength requirement's biting me in the ass right now. Um, we'll fix that problem eventually. Eventually. We'll see how this goes. I mean, if I need to, I can rush down getting some more strength with that strength implant and stuff if we need to. Um, let's see if we can deal with these geckos. It's really cool. I'm still waiting for it to get close, and then we can just go for headshots. Wonderful. To be fair, this recharger rifle is lasting a really long time. Longer than I even expected it to. Energy weapons do burn out very quickly, from my experience in the game, from what I understand of the game, but... No AP. Yeah, run away. That's right. I hit it. It does so little damage, though. That that is the trade-off, right? Like I am. This gun is not doing a lot of damage. It's doing a lot of bats headshot damage, though. You're doing just fine. Hello, geckos. I would like to try to take them one at a time. You can, at this 
early. I'm mean, still literally level one. Right? At this very early level of the game, you could very easily get fucked up by these geckos. Now, if I take my time, there's two. See, that's not what we want. We don't want that. Because I don't, especially with this recharger rifle. See that body shots do like zero damage? I believe geckos are really immune to energy damage anyway, right? Like they just don't take very much. We'll take this slow though. Technically infinite ammo, right? Condition is our concern with this particular thing. I wonder how long we can keep this going. Look at that blood. What a violent video game. Oh no, demonetized because of blood. Okay, this is a this is a full blown gecko. You need to die. <laughs> Not nearly enough damage. Don't jump at me. I shot you in the face. Yeah, run away. We I I'm, I understand that I am abusing um, the pathing of these things a little bit because they can't come all the way down here. That's not my fault. That's the developer's fault. I didn't do that. Do you understand? I know I'm abusing it, and that that is my fault. I have the one being like, oh yeah, stupid ass fucking geckos can't come down the hill because the game developer says you're not allowed to. He <laughs> he. But you know, it is what it is. Absolutely fried. Sucks to suck, gecko. And then then you get on these rocks too, and these geckos are really having a tough time. These iron sights are like decently. Hey, hey, I'm getting. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm gonna like get in his passing to see if it figures it out. Is it even gonna. Hello? <laughs> it's like it doesn't. You get on those rocks and it doesn't know what to do. Yeah, okay, good. My weapon is now breaking. Oh, I finally got bit. Gecko had crippled. I mean, it is bleeding quite significantly from its head. Good. I'm glad that my weapon is super broken. It doesn't... The thing about the recharger is, like, it doesn't super matter. Obviously, and can it jam? I level up! Promotion! Are we not safe? We are not safe. What are we in danger from? That's scary. Is that the gecko right there making that noise? What are you doing, dog? I didn't even realize the geckos made that noise. I don't think I've ever heard... What? Get shot in the face. Silly bat skill. Can't, I'm looking at my feet. He was jumping at my feet. There we go. Now we can level up. Okay, some things that we need, you know, almost instantaneously here. We need to get that repair stat up to at least 45 because I need that perk. Um, we need science really high too. We got to start pumping that up. At least 50 right now. I'm trying to think if I wanted to get it even more than that. Because I really need the energy recycling ammo so we don't have to use this recharger rifle the entire time. Now, I'm thinking about other things that I might need. I need repair to get up to. Yeah, I mean, we do need... Put that at 46. I really need some energy weapon skill too, though. That would be good. It would make it better. Um, I'm trying to balance this out a little bit. I'm trying to think about the perks that I need. I have written this all down, so I am kind of looking at my notes here at the same time. I do eventually need some more sneak as well. It's, you know, we'll get, we'll get there on the things. We're going to take a little bit of energy weapons. Just a little bit. Um... So what we need, right off rip, we're going to probably to light touch. I, I'm thinking about it, but obviously um, retention is very good in the very beginning of the game, but we need to wait. Um, Swift Learner, we could recompensate for the thing. Um, all these interesting little things, but really we want light touch. Junk rounds is also important too. Um, or it's not junk rounds. Junk rounds is for the bullets ammunition. I'm thinking about the other thing. Light touch, though. So we're going to wear light armor. And we're going to crit. That's really the goal. Is this armor light? Did I did I mess that up or off rip? This is medium armor, isn't it? No, it's light. It's still light armor. So we got a bonus. We got the bonus crit chance. Very good. That's what we're looking for right there. Off rip. Going for crits. Um, there's some skeletons here. That's a very that's very dark. There was definitely somebody up here who was a light. There's like bear traps here, too, huh? Yep. Repair 55 for the fuck... Oh, re to rearm the trap. It's already kind of clipped the gecko, I guess. I could disarm the traps, though, right? I can. 10 millimeter rounds of uselessness for me. And there's a fridge up here. This is the fridge with the supplies, I believe, that will cause the guy... Barton Thorn, or whatever the fuck his name is? Maybe I'm just coming up with names. Um, we'll take the gecko steaks, sure. And the squirrel stew, in case we need some heals. We haven't really got hit too much, though, to be fair. Now, we don't have Wild Wasteland, so there's not the weird-looking little fucking balls here. It's been a long time since I haven't played with Wild Wasteland on, too. 
So this will be an interesting thing. A lot of fucking 10 millimeter ammunition. And there's a camera up here. Now the camera's not useful for anything. And the ashtray and all that stuff. You know. Ceramic! That's, that's all I think of when I think of the ashtray. Um, Barton Thorne, are you coming? I looted the thing. Right? Isn't that the conditions? Is there more? Oh, this is just rocks. I was like, is that more skeleton? Sometimes my eyeballs, you guys. I actually probably need glasses. I, I'm not kidding you. If something's too far away from my eyeballs, I can't literally fucking see. So, that's just like it all. <laughs> like, it's really blurry. So, um, don't worry about me, though. I'm totally fine. Four eyes perk in real life. Um, Barton Thorne, aren't you supposed to be coming? Did I not loot the thing? Like, because usually the looting of the thing activates him to come up here. But I feel like I missed what I was supposed to loot. See, this is, is you see me back to my bullshit again. Um, which is the, the jumping and third person playing. Do I have to take the junk food? Do you want me to, uh, there's a bed up here. The Barton Thorn kind of broke though. So maybe this is not, he's just, no, he, he made it. Oh no, you tricked me. Whatever will I do? Now, you should be freaked out, dog. I'm about to shoot you in the face. That hurt, huh? Critical strike. That criti extra bonus criticals is the thing. He dropped his gun, even? You dropped your gun? Are you running? Are you running from me, Barton Thorne? Shoot him in the back as he runs. Because he's a fucking coward. Only cowards hide, as the raiders say. I have to wait for my gun to recharge. Dog. It is hopeless, but it would just be cool if you just got fucking vaporized. <laughs> Just enjoy the fact that you get in vaporized. Is this him? It is him. It's hard to tell. That's the one thing that's going to be tough a little bit. Um, is that when I vaporize people, it is going to be harder to find loot. So I guess we could just go back now, right? Because we did that fast traveling thing. Go back to Good Springs. Just, that's why fast traveling exists. It's super easy and convenient that way. Auto save. Hopefully we do not deal with very many crashes. That's why I'm playing the 360 version. Okay, it is better. Um... They're having the conflict. Oh no, Joe Cobb. I'm going to put what? Is it, do this game have general subtitles on? Yeah, yeah, I'll put the general subtitles on for y'all. Okay? Just so you can hear. I mean, or read. You can't hear. That's the whole point. That sounds very hostile, Joe Cobb. Yeah, yeah. Your fucking dick looking ass face. Anyway. Hello, Trudy. Hello. Go ahead and walk to your spot, though. You go ahead. You go ahead, Trudy. Hi. Yeah. Uh, what was that argument all about? Oh, yeah. This, we're, we're protecting Ringo. He's holed up. Uh, why not just kill Cobb? Oh, we don't do that here. We don't murder people. That would make us bad people. Um, you know what I about the people that attacked me? They're just people that didn't pay for their fucking drinks. Do they say where they're going? They don't really know. Yeah, yeah, because Corey Junction is an asshole of fucking the wasteland. There's death claws there. I get it. So where were they headed? Uh, where, 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 broken radio. I told you we're gonna skip through some things. Yeah, we're gonna skip through. We have. I mean, the repair skill literally just designed just to fix this radio. The nine hole experience. It's supposed to be ten, right? That's what you lose with ten percent. But this one, yo, know, we lost one experience once. I fixed your radio. Um, if we had barter skill, I don't know anybody who has barter skill. We're getting that Good Springs fame up. Um, thank you. We're not even going to go talk to Ringo yet, I think. We are going to do a, the Good Springs wins version of this. Um, I think so, anyway. I'm trying to think about it now. But yeah, I, th I don't think there's any reason. Joe Cobb is sitting right over here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually do some of the powder gang quests. This is the way I always play the game, generally. Uh, sometimes I do do the way that the powder gangers win ending of the video game, but this particular time, because if we haven't started the Good Springs quest too much, we can go over here. Stealing. Dog, can you not look at me though, man? Like smoke your cigarette someplace else. There's explosives right here, dog. You think that's a good idea? You think, you think that's a good idea? Yeah. You guys are both smoking cigarettes right next to this explosive crate. I'm real sketched about it. It's just one dynamite anyway. I don't even want your dynamite, you pieces of shit. You can go smoke cigarettes next to it and blow yourself up if you want to. Is it evening? Is it evening? Did you just say evening to me? Is it? It doesn't look very... I guess it's 5.13 in the afternoon. But, I mean, that's that sun is very up. Calling it evening is a little bit ambitious, I think. Um, but, yeah, obviously we got to go to the prison. 
Um, so we're doing a little happy walk over here. A little happy stroll. There's the doggos over here. And obviously, the, the like, what is it? The dynamite that's here. Right? So we have to deal with all that fucking nonsense. Black Mountain's over here. That's good. I'm glad we found that signal. I really, I'm not messing with any of that right now. Um, but yeah, obviously the prison is over here. We could do, you can do some of these quests. I'm technically detected, really? Dogs, are you detecting me or something else detecting me? Let's see. Is that a sneak attack critical? Derpy ass fucking dog going down. Caution. I'm not in danger. Okay. I think that's both of the wild dogs. Taking there's one more, maybe? It looks like, yeah, there's definitely one more. Never mind. There's, as I say, three? No, come closer. Or, or not. Okay, don't come closer. The game is being weird today. <laughs> Hello, dog? I, do you want to... I would prefer not to have to shoot the puppers, but it just is safer to do so, right? They're, all puppers are good puppers, even the ones that try to eat your face in the apocalypse. But they were they ate this dude's face. That's You're having a bad time, my friend. You are having a bad time. All right. We can head into prison here. The, the one thing, one of the best um, Fallout 4 features added is that you can bats mines. It makes perfect sense that you could, right? Now, I'm very bad... And the low resolution of the Xbox 360 the version of this game doesn't help. But I'm very bad at seeing mines, right? They're just, like, awful at it. There is... There's definitely... Did I already walk past them? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like they should be here. But I don't see them. And I feel like... It's probably my fault. I'm just real... I'm, like, super duper slow walking. Is it in the gate more? That is what I'm thinking about. I know that there is mines. So I'm going to kind of take it slowly. Creepy crawling down the street. Free bed here. I don't know why my character's making so much weird ass fucking footstep noises. They're definitely over here by the gate more. I'm just tripping. I'm going to go a little bit quicker. But I am nervous and concerned. This is me now. The nervous and concerned guy about bombs there's the gate over here i should not probably walk the wrong direction i'm just getting lost i'm real nervous i don't know if you guys notice that but i get real nervous about boomy things i don't want a crippled leg right now this that would be a problem are the bombs not here like i, I don't see them which makes you really worried that i didn't find them they're not there like they're not past that gate i don't know what the fuck yeah okay i've unlocked fast travel that's cool i know fast travel apparently the bomb, like the little mines aren't there today? Hello, Joe Cobb. Or not, it's not Joe Cobb, is it? It's a different dude. It's a, what's this guy's name? What's your fucking name? Uh, I know what this place is. What exactly is the powder ganger? Yeah, uh, what is this place? Yeah, can I, uh, go in? Yeah, you can just have my hundred caps. And that's fine. Okay? Because I would, the, I'm trading a hundred caps for experience points, right? Hello. We gotta turn this off. Please don't. Copyright me. You guys can't. You're not allowed to listen to music because I'm not allowed to listen to music. Okay, it just is what it is. Sucks to suck for you and everything you're about. Okay, but we're gonna head into the prison here. We are gonna help the powder gangers. Um, a little bit, a little bit, because it's just the most optimized way of fucking doing things. Hello, Doctor Man. Oh no, you're the Doctor Man. Hannigan, right? You're you're camping the medical supplies. And there's like really tricky, sp I mean, for the fucking third person here is, is wigging out. But yeah, there's definitely ways you can access the supplies. Oh, don't don't touch that. I almost got detected. Um, I don't even have um, lock picking of 25. I just realized that. Science, motherfucker. Science, bitch. Um, we're we're going to, we're apparently, <laughs> we'll get to that maybe at some point. Hello, Eddie. You really don't like. That's the warden, right? Or is that President... No, that's President Kimball, right? That's a President Kimball. Yeah, why not? Why, uh, but uh, what do you need done? Yeah, he likes that. I'll do it. Yeah, Chavez is... He left and he's not allowed to leave because it's not helpful or whatever fucking overarching theory that is. Some some idea along that lines, right? And I say, you know, skipping dialogue. Dialogue is some of the best parts of the video game. Don't get it twisted. I understand that. I know that for sure. The dialogue is a big part of Fallout New Vegas and Fallout in general. 
recycle some energy cells. Hell yeah. Look at look, I'm already making the energy. Look, I made two whole energy cells. <laughs> That's not gonna be this is this recycler is gonna hopefully get repaired soon. But we don't have any like there's no way, obviously, right now, right? Where we could I could hit Y on it all I want. No repair, no repair, no repair on the laser pistol. We're just kind of dealing with it. We're just gonna have to live with what we got. Um I guess we could repair that. Slap some shit together. Just to say we did. Now, Chavez is over here. So you always just walk this way. Or I always do. This is how I kind of always do things. You could sneak up on Chavez. It, there's, there's, I mean, this is Fallout. And particularly Fallout New Vegas. But there's this, you know, choose your own way. Like, obviously, you have to get rid of Chavez. You could just talk to Chavez and that gets rid of him and stuff, right? He just, you can convince him to leave. You, I forget what this the speech skill, I think, just in general. Just, just generally just talk his ass out of... Fucking with you. You could just shoot him off rip here. So you could be like in this position where you're hidden. And he's right there. And you could like, if you got to like, even the varmint rifle is, does pretty good damage. Sneak attack criticaling his ass. Right? I guess if we're going for criticals as it is. We could just take his ass down. Alright, we could try anyway. And we're using the hill to our advantage. You can't even shoot me right now. Peek me over the hill. Coward, you won't. Absolutely did. I just want to make that very clear. I said coward you won't, but they absolutely decided that's what I'm doing. Broke your arm. This fucking recycler, man. I mean, it spams fire rate. It's, look at how fast that fire rate is, and we have slower fire rate built in to be more accurate. That guy got his head blown off. Where did Chavez go? Taking all the things. Take the dynamite just to sell the dynamite. Do we not have a hat? I don't think we have a hat right now. We do not have a hat. We might as well take that plus one free perception, right? Look, we got a cool hat now. Are you hiding out here near like a bitch? Like, did you just blow yourself up or did I blow you up? That mine went off though. That guy got, <laughs> these are like things that happen, dude. He's like, no matter how many times you fucking play Fallout, weird shit ends up happening. That guy just, like we just met each other at the explosive there, I think. I'll take your cowboy hat too. The fucking powder. Is this Chavez? Where did Chavez go? Did I just scare him off? Like, he's not... He's not here. You have a trooper helmet? That's a weird set of... Certain... Okay. Okay. Um, i trying to remember if there's any other important... There's like a book in here, right? A Lad's Life. I remember that. So it's a survival book, right? If I remember correctly. Um, where did Chavez go? Is my quest marker Chavez still? Is that what we're dealing? No. Deal with Chavez. Where's he? Where did Chavez? You ran the fuck away. Oh, he's right here. Hello. He's literally being terrified. He's just like sitting there listening to me talk about him. Chavez. Oh, he decided. He's like, oh fuck. Well, I guess I gotta fight you. Or you can get lasered in the face. Sucks to suck, dude. I mean, in this context, working for the Powder Gangers essentially means I kill Powder Gangers, right? So that doesn't really, you know hurt my morality that much really like, like sure it's technically helping them out but like you know it's helping good springs out it's helping everybody out it's getting rid of powder gangers right i have not taken any manual saves yet which might be a bad idea in the long run here um but we will get to it for sure right like <laughs> i hope there's no crashes like there's a lot of doors i'll be one of these doors auto, auto saves auto we're gonna relying heavily on auto saves and just hoping for no crashes i don't know if you guys are aware how much this motherfucker crashes, even on the Xbox 360, it's still better, but it does happen. I got rid of Chavez, yep. Oh, yeah, the, the little guy, the merchant. Yeah, we got to go talk to the merchant who's not actually a merchant. He's a mercenary. And there's obviously off rip here. Multiple ways to handle this fucking situation too, right? You could talk him down with two different kinds of checks. Um, sorry, we got the gene skydiving. Fast shell point already, already locked in. Um, yeah, um, you could use intelligence here or the speech tech to get him to talk himself down, right? Traveling a little light for a merchant, aren't you? No Prak Brahmin, no, you don't really look like you have a bunch of shit for sale, dog. Like, so you believe in. You better leave with your, you better leave while you can. The powder gangers won't fall for your trick. And then he leaves. He leaves. You leave. Or not, I guess. Or 
or, or you know. I don't know how I gained HP. What the fucking fuck? My damn is doing some weird shit. He's like activated, but I'm killing him anyway. There's no negative karma to that. He's got good loot. The 150 bottle caps, right? Some more leather armor, right? Like it's all you know, whatever. Shush, 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 shush. Don't judge me. Disintegrate enemies with laser weapons. We're already at 16 out of 32 on that. We are gonna, we are gonna get a lot of disintegrations. I forgot to come in here. I for, there's like important loot, but I think you need, um, yeah, lock pick of 50. There's a key though. I remember it's on the desk right here, isn't it? I'm pretty sure there's a key. There's a star bottle cap. I didn't mean to take the inset. Uh, uh in, there's a key right there. So you can grab the key. You don't actually need all that. Get a bunch of bottle caps, a bunch of loot, all that stuff. Good shit. Get that shit done. So, we have to set the report back. I'm going to be right back in the video. It's going to be like an instantaneous cut for you, but I will be back in a second. All right, everybody. Sorry about that little cutaway. I had to use the bathroom. You know, these things happen. Um, so, we got to go talk to Chavez. Or not Chavez. Chavez is the dude. Um, whoever the fuck's in charge here. Names are hard for me. I've mentioned this before in previous videos and playthroughs and stuff like that, but I'm really bad with names. I like remember as soon as this becomes relevant again. Evening. Um, it's more nighttime now, but you can say evening. That's fine. I appreciate you at least greeting me and not treating me like a piece of shit. So hoppity hippity hoppity. Get off of my property. So we have this quest that we can turn in. And then we have one more we can do. The last one. And then I believe that's it for this particular part. Um, and then we'll kind of like switch things up as we go here. So, hello, Eddie. Uh, I got rid of the guy. He's not NCR. Definitely not NCR. The game would have gave me negative NCR reputation for killing him if he wasn't. Yes, okay. We're going to go talk to the NCR and be like, Hey, yo, what, what is, what, what are you doing? But we're not going to do that part right away. Well, yeah, no, we have to. We have to do that part right away. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about, like, the ordering of things and how I like to do things and how you have to do things to a certain degree. So we do have to go down to Prim. I guess we can go to the Powder Ganger camp here. And that's, like, a faster way to get there, maybe? I've never... I don't think I normally go this way. Normally I go down the highway. Because I feel like it's the safest way to do things, right? Like, for sure. But I think we can go this way. I don't see... I mean, there's there is the people outside of Prim... Like on the outside skirts of Prim, there's usually a guy up on this like roller coaster track here. I think we have to go way around anyway as it is, but it's also nighttime, so it is very fucking hard to see. And I apologize if that causes you guys any issues as you're watching the playthrough. I try to calibrate my video settings, okay? Like the, I do the YouTuber things. I promise I take you guys like the viewing experience into consideration here. I really do like to look at this gun though. It's cool. I don't I've never really used it. Never ever used the recycler. And it actually has been functioning pretty good. It's just in horrible ass fucking shape. We're probably going to have to rely on other people to repair some stuff for us until we can find like a good source of energy weapons. But we'll see. Um, now we're going to get to Prim. We're going to do some Prim things. I don't think there's any sideways in here, is there? Because they really want you to cross the bridge with the fucking mines. Now, I don't think so, right? There's no... This is like the, the previous sheriff's house right there. He's dead, in case it's not clear. We're not going to do too much into the Prim Quest today. I'm not trying not to make these videos too long either, but it ends up that way. We could technically talk to the NCR dude, and then he could tell us his... Uh, I could take care of myself. It's my ass. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuck you. Eat a dick. Um, I know what I'm doing. Fuck you. I won't do what you told me. Um, we could obviously rob the NCR blind here too, and we might get to that. Um, but for now, I just want to get... So I want to get a cup. Can I... You've literally invincible wall, huh? You don't want me. You don't want me to do that cheating. See, like obviously there's little barricades there, but I really feel like my character could jump those barricades. Hey, it's an NCR flag. So the Fallout Show reference. Um, I'm gonna do that a couple of times. It's funny though. Um, but yeah, we could rob the NCR blind here because they just leave their ammunition sitting in containers that no one is uh, guarding at all. So we might as well take it. And oh, there's fucking thirty energy cells. The value of this has been insane. Um, I think that plasma pistol we got is in great condition too, right? Like, like brand fucking new. Yes, this is a great gun. If we really need to fucking kill some things. And I have more ammo for it. We literally like doubled up our ammo for it. Now, you can go talk to the NCR, but we don't have to do it that way. And I don't usually do it that way, if I remember right. Like, I, it's been, you know, 
It's been a long time since my yearly play This might be what I might what I do in the future here. I might like do obviously their mines here. Not that worried about it. Easy peasy. Three of them, I think that's it. And now we are in Prim. Um, but we go talk to um What's the names are hard. The dude in here, the the guy. The guy who runs this shit, um not runs it, I guess, but um I don't like that I pulled this out and then I had to recharge his ammo, but I am going to sneak up in here. What's the dude's name? The guy who, like, hires the couriers in the first place and stuff like that. There's two guys. You're, like, way over there. Hello, sir. You're starting to see me, which is not what I wanted to have happen, but, you know, we'll take it. I hit the wrong button. 69% in the head. Nice. We're going to have to start pulling out that plasma weapon, though, because this is not... I mean, his head's crippled, but... You will not... Fucking Christ. Piece of shit. You just hit me with a fucking piece of dynamite. Broke my goddamn arm. There's the head crippled. That was a that was a crit. Big crits are we gonna, we're gonna rely on a lot. Now this fucking thing is gonna break on me very rapidly. So I'm, you know, a little bit concerned about it. But we'll be okay. I didn't mean to take the tire on, but we'll take it anyway. We have lots of room. This room is not the concern. Yes, healing limbs. I understand how to heal limbs. Technically we could just sleep. I don't think we're that concerned about it. I really want to repair this really bad. Uh -huh. I mean, we don't need to repair that right away. We do have the leather armor to repair it with. Which one of these do we want as a hat? That is a good hat. They're kind of all ugly hats right now. They're all perception plus one though, so we'll just we'll just get a hat just to say we do have the perception plus one. Okay. I I if you don't if you can't tell the way that I play these games, I get super duper sidetracked. Okay, like I get real. <laughs> the ADHD shows stronger than ever before. Um, yeah, you guys got guns. Hello, where's the dude? He's over here, right? Johnson Nash, that's his name. I'm really bad with names. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, do you know if the NCR is planning to back to prison, though? Um, yeah, give him 100 caps. So we got money for it, and he tells us the answer, which means we don't have to even deal with the NCR part of the thing, right? I need to get going. Do you have anything for sale? Do you... Yeah, yeah, do you... He won't. Who are you? Yeah, oh yeah, he wants to. I'm a courier. Yeah, yeah. I got a lost package. Can you tell me about the job? Some of my soul from a package. You see him. And then you got to tell me that I need my kind of town done. Um, the guy before me canceled. I wonder who that was. Um, we'll get to Ulysses and stuff way fucking later if we get to him. Um, cowboy robot. All right, so we got to go get. Um, the deputy, right? What's his fucking name? Deputy Beagle, right? Deputy Beagle from the Bison Steve. We'll get to that, though. So, when we do this part here, this next part of this quest, for the, the last part of the quest for that we can do for the Powder Gangers without committing to them as a faction, um, they're going to get attacked. Now, I have a plan for this. I, I always have a plan for this. And this is generally how I always do this. Like I said, this is it's just because it's optimized. I get a, you get a lot of experience this way. I have a crippled arm right now. Don't worry about my crippled arm. I don't really need it. I'm not going to get into any combat. I don't think so. I'm like trying to think about the... I mean, I, I might get into a little bit. But technically, we're going to have a bed right over here to use too, if I remember right. I don't know if we're allowed to use the bed. But we're going over here. We're not going to talk to the NCR about it. We're not going to offer the NCR our assistance. We are not going to be like, I'll help you take the prison back. We could... But I, I don't believe it doesn't count as a quest that you get paid out experience for, which is, like, real shitty. So we have this armor case here. Hopefully we have the carry weight for it. Um, I missed the both 26, and they're both fucking heavy. Um, the face wrap armor is a cooler armor. We need to... I mean, I got some stuff that... Yes, I understand I stole it, lost some karma. I understand that I'm also over-encumbered. Um, we have, like, 509mm pistols to slap together. Are we still over-encumbered? We are. By eight fucking pounds. Jesus Christ. Or six pounds, I mean. Now three pounds. Um, some varmint rifles to slap together. There we go. Now we're under carry weight, and then we could sleep on this bed roll. Um, we'll sleep for like an hour because it doesn't really matter. We're just using that to instantaneously heal our limb. Beds are cheating. They're not really cheating. They're obviously that's a, that's not a, that's a gameplay design decision. Um, but we need that armor. I don't know. Do we need the hat too? I think I'm just gonna take the hat just in case. Um, I don't think we do. Um, but we need that NCR armor because what we're going to do is we're gonna we're going to. I should not do that. I don't think it matters that in that context, like I touched that, because no one can actually see me do it anyway. Right? Yeah, yeah. 
we're totally fine. But I need that armor. I need I need the NCR armor for what we're about to do next, which will probably be the final little part of this video, right? It's it's, it's, it's so many fucking things to do in this game. I I could play this game like at infinitum almost. Like it just I've played it like once a year, every year, forever. But we're, what's gonna happen here when we turn this quest in? When we go like yes, the NCR is going to attack. That causes them literally to attack. Bad juju stuff, right? But this gives us um enough powder ganger rep where they won't be as hostile to us later when we do the um ghost town gunfight which we'll do pretty much really immediately after this but yes hello eddie uh the ncr is coming and then the alarm goes off we get 100 bottle caps 180 xp that's a level up we should be able to level up right now sick i still really need to get science up and repair so we're gonna put some points into that but i really would like enough lock pick to get basic locks open is <laughs> the early game stuff right where you're just like i'm so low on everything um i just don't have enough anything to do things i feel like um we really need to get speech going too, sneak going because obviously sneak attack criticals are going to be really important if we're doing crits and stuff um but i want that 25 lock pick at least too i'm trying to think about i'm looking at my build here and what i'm going to need for skills oh uh, i could probably get more science up just because we're going to, in a, here, in not too long, we're going to need even more science. It's okay. We'll just hack every terminal. So what's going to happen here, I need to be hidden, um, is the NCR is going to attack right as soon as I go out this door. They're going to be literally right outside there. So we're going to put this NCR armor on. I've even got the goggles helmet where we're hidden so no one can see us. And as soon as we come out here, the NCR is going to attack, but we are not going to get shot. We are the NCR. It's safe. Everything is fine. It should be fine. This is mostly fine. It's the little trick I picked up along the way. And hey, see, the NCR is absolutely chilling with us. They're going to shoot all the powder gangers in here. We get, like, essentially free loot. Not that the powder gangers typically are pretty valuable loot. And plus, we're really close to over-encumbered as it is anyway. But there's a dead one here. I mean, ammo is free. Vomit rifle, we could slap into another vomit rifle. Is there another guy up here? Nope. It's all clear. Now, there's, there's definitely some extra stuff to loot in here that is going to be harder to loot now that we got the NCR in this bitch. Um, because they like to claim all the property as theirs as soon as they get in. And I remember, I think everybody who's in there lives. That's a crazy side effect of this. Like, everybody in this little building that I'm looking at right here does not get attacked. And there's another one over there. And they might be mad at me later. But not, oh, they're mad at me right now. They already went in the building, which means they already kicked everybody's ass in there. This is about to get real. Go. Co fucking NCR. Look at them stacked up. This is Sparta. Like, they're fucking all lined up. They, all they need is the shields. I'm not shooting anybody. Uh, but they, they definitely will do enough of the things without my help. Where I won't have to do shit. Um, I do have to slap some stuff together to save carry weight, though. Um, 10 out of 30 fixing things. Am I hidden? Hidden right here? Because I did want this first aid box. This is my first lockpick. Jesus Christ. I, like I said, I didn't even have 25, so it's like really hard to get going here. But all that stuff is is free and valuable. Take the doctor's bags as well, now that it's cleared out. It makes it a lot easier to sneak that through there while we're doing this. They're really distracted with the fact that a massive amount of shooting is going on in the background. It's very loud. The NCR can lose this fight, too. I've seen that happen before. I'm not going to save scum. If the NCR loses, they lose. That's That's their problem. I'll just run the fuck away. Um, be like, oh shit. Um, I suppose we have to wait for the 357. We could also take the sunglasses because our character does not currently have sunglasses. We can put them on ourselves later. We want that 9mm submachine gun, though, too. That's a very valuable gun. Now we're going to be over encumbered. I got to figure out how to fucking make all this goddamn. We got the 253, 257s in there. I guess we could slap the leather armor on there for now just that's a big chunk of carry weight we could save because we're going to want to pick a lot of this stuff up there's the administration key very important another plasma pistol we can use ours energy cells very good drained ones another knife sure that was eddie right there he's got the plasma weapon there's another nine millimeter submachine gun which for some reason is like the most single most valuable gun in the beginning of the game here we can even turn our flash on did we already clear this all out ncr you guys are so good Look at you killing people so efficiently. If you could just kill the Legion, like you kill powder gangers and a thing. But yeah, that's 474 caps for that 9mm submachine gun. I don't know why that's so valuable. Yeah, you guys are all here. You guys won. 
Um, I forgot what the... Where does your key go? The administration key. This is locked average. We can't open that. Um, where does the administration... Is this this room here? Yeah, this is the use key room. But we are super detected. Does it count as picking a lock? I don't want to save scum. Because I could save and find out. But I could also... I think it's fine. I think we'll be okay. If I just give it a second. We will no longer... I mean, we should probably turn the flashlight off. Oh, the flashlight was off. I'm dumb. It just seemed bright. I just don't want to piss them off. There's like a risk that like, because it's red. Even if I have the key, they'll get mad. I don't remember exactly how that works. It's been a long time. These guys will start to shuffle around and figure out. And my sneak isn't particularly high either. I would like to get in here. But I am detected. It's very bright. Can you not look over here, dude? Like, there's not really a way. Because there's that, this motherfucker sitting in the chair right here. Um, I was hidden for like half a second. Hidden? Now that I'm, the door is, you know, been messed with, it's fine. I can steal all this ammo, which we're going to probably end up selling at some point. And these explosives, sure. Got a little bit of room for dynamite. Frag mine's good. We don't really, I mean, we'll sell a lot of this. Just waiting to be hidden. They, the NCR will get mad at you if I remember right for stealing shit. From this room, even though it's not, it wasn't, I mean, I guess it was originally their shit, you could argue. Technically, it's Powder Ganger shit, and now it's their shit again. Another knife, sure. Knives are not valuable. I should not be taking them in, in such a high volume that I am taking them, but we looted that. So now we're, we can get out of here. <laughs> good morning. We're just going to walk over to these dead bodies saying good morning to each other, huh? So yeah, this is probably going to be kind of pretty much it. It is the morning, though. Um, we could take the NCR armor off now. They should not be mad at us. And I'm concerned that I fucked it up, but uh, it doesn't matter because we'll just, we'll go back to Good Springs. And we're going to do the Ghost Town gunfight next time. Now, obviously, a lot of people do that a little bit earlier on in the game than I have selected to do here um, in this particular playthrough. But I figured it was important to get that done later. We do have sunglasses on now. That's very cool. Look at our character. So fucking cool. Um, but yeah, so we got all that stuff done. Got a nice little start on the playthrough. I really am having a, just a fucking blast. I, ever, I always have fun playing Fallen New Vegas. I could play this more and more and more and more. Um, I intend to upload this a couple times a week. I would really appreciate you guys' support on this particular series, right? If you could leave a like rating, if you could share the video, right? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so that way you can check out the rest of the playthrough. But, uh, you know, leaving a like on the video lets me know that you guys want to see more of the series and that, you know, it's worth my time to do, right? Because I don't want to make a video series just for, like, you know, nobody to watch it. Um, I could just play the game myself without having to do that, right? That's part of the deal with that. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Um, I obviously, I'm very particular about the build that I'm doing, but you guys can let me know tips down in the comment section down below. There's not really spoilers that are available. I know everything about New Vegas. You can't spoil New Vegas for me. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode, though. We, we do some more stuff. We do that Ghost Town gunfight. Um, we'll go save um, What's His Fuck, uh, Deputy Beagle from the, the Bison Steve. We'll probably get up to the... I and mean, we'll see how far we get. I, I don't know. I don't like try not to make these videos super duper long, but I, I get stuck in the game. Um, you guys let me know what your preferences on that too. Like longer videos, shorter videos, like half an hour, an hour. Which you, like, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Like I said, like the video. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever time it be. And I will see you in the next episode.